I think <clears throat> um, we are playing good cricket. Um, you know, we certainly know that as a team. I don't think you should focus on the negatives when when people are you know saying negative things about you as a team. Uh, similarly, when you're playing well, I don't think you should look too much into the praise factor as well. As a team, if you can focus on what is happening right and the things that are working for the team, um, then these things you know do not really matter. And as a team, we do not focus on these things. We try to maintain the same kind of intensity and momentum, um, regardless of how we are playing. Um, but yes, at the moment we are playing some good cricket. Um, but that doesn't mean that we play with arrogance as a team. You know, we respect every opposition the same way, and um, we intend to play the same kind of cricket against everyone. Uh, that's the only way you win a game of cricket. But there are no guarantees in this sport. Anyone can upset anyone um, on on their given day. And uh, you know, this tournament being the top eight teams in the world, you certainly cannot. Uh, even think of taking anyone lightly. So, um, all I can say is, as a team, we just want to focus on what we can do right and the things that are working for us. He's, um, you know, he's a real asset to Indian cricket. I would say um, it's very hard to find a guy who can, you know, almost touch 140 k's and um, who strikes the the way he strikes the ball, and he can bat you know, through the innings as well. We saw that in the practice game. So if you give him 16, 17 overs to bat, he can do that job for you as well. Um, he's played a few good innings in the first class circuit as well, you know, really seeing off the new ball in testing conditions. So, I mean, it's very hard to find people with that, with that kind of ability. Um, and once you have a player like that, you need to make sure that, you know, he's always committed, always motivated um, to give his 100% for the team. and. That comes naturally to Hardik, so you don't need to motivate him any further in any other way. And as I said, is a real asset for Indian cricket, and uh, you know people should should appreciate um, his skill and what he brings to the table. You know, a lot of people focus on a lot of other things with Hardik, which I don't think should be anyone else's problem. You know, he has his own journey, and he he's finding his own way. And you know, if he gets the kind of support that a player like him should get. I think he can go down as, you know, one of the most uh, accomplished Indian cricketers in times to come because he's he's a fit guy. He's superb in the field, superb with the ball, brilliant with the bat. So as I said, very hard to find a guy like that, and the kind of balance he brings into the team is priceless. And that was on display the other day. As I said, it's top eight teams in the world. Sri Lanka, um, you know, in ICC tournaments they've done really well. If you see their record over the years, they've always been a side that you know is always either reach semis or close to you know reaching the semis and they've reached finals as well so they have got talented players in their team no doubt about that they're a young team as well uh, they're going through a transition phase but they have uh, the sort of players that can you know deliver match winning performances on their day um, apart from that um, the fielding aspect yes i felt that you know maybe st starting the tournament and having done so well with the bat I think the guys wanted to uh, bring in that extra energy and sometimes, you know, just starting off the tournament, uh, creating momentum as a team, you can misfield a few and you can get overexcited. Um, there can be lapses as well, um, especially when the team is seven or eight down and you know that, you know, the game's going to get done soon. Um, the complacency can uh, come in. I'm not sure if it did, but that could be another factor. But we've addressed those things and, you know, asked the guys to be ruthless and um, finish games off because the, the the teams that bat deep, they can get a 60-70 run partnership even in the end if there's a lapse in the field. So in a tournament like this, I think you need to plug those holes. And uh, as I said, we've identified that we're going to work hard as a team today uh, in the fielding drills and improve that aspect going forward.